All right, so we have Stalker 2 Heart of Chronicle, the final preview from IGN, man. Let's go to the video. Let's go, man. Don't want the end. To suffer? Then help me find the culprit. Two hours isn't enough time to see all the branching stories, admire all the beautiful graphics, and discover all the secrets within the world of Stalker 2. I will see. Thank you, Richter. But it is enough to be left impressed. When I wasn't taking stock of my paltry ammunition levels and hunger gauge, I was looking out at beautiful fields of red poppy flowers. When I oh, no, 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 this looks crazy. By an interesting side quest, I was doing my best to lure mutants into an anomaly trap. Okay, okay, all right, all right, hold up, hold up, all right, hold up. So it it looks like the gunplay, it, the, the gunplay looks good. The gunplay, I, I, so I don't know if you guys remember, but about like a month ago, um, I said that the gunplay, because you guys know how I am, bro. Hey, I've been rocking with the people over at, uh, at Stalker for a long time, bro. E even after, like, you know, hearing their journey about, you know, even, bro, with the war going on, um, you know, in the country and stuff like that, bro. The fact that they're able to even still get a game up is absolutely crazy. So, shout out to the people uh, people over at Stalker, bro. Um, and, and so, yeah, I, I was being real, though. I said at the beginning of the, of the video, I was like, yo, like, I'm going to check everything out. You know, I'm not going to disrespect nobody or whatever. But I am going to be real. If I don't like something, I'm going to say it. And so, um, mainly, a lot of things impressed me, whatever. Graphically, everything, like, it really impressed me, whatever. But like I said, the um, the gunplay was a little, uh. I, that's what I said. The gunplay was a little iffy. You know, try to they, they could try to uh, fix that or whatever. It looks like they fixed the gunplay. That's what it looks like. We're going to see. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say and act like, you know, that they watch the videos or whatever. But listen, it looked like the gunplay is fixed. So, that's good. And while it was over, it look, it look, just okay. when it felt like okay, it was like that. extra good, it had still left its impression. The impression that the team at GSC Game World created something special with Stalker 2. Okay, no, 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 no. See, see, see. And this is why, hey, this is why you gotta be real with people. Because if you don't be real with people, th th bro, you're not gonna get this. This is, bro, this game is gonna be absolutely fire. I can already tell. Let's go, man. Let's go. By admitting that I am not a stalker expert, meaning I True. have not played the Me 2009 hits. Me neither. But Me neither. I probably Me should neither. be because I am a huge fan of games that offer us various options for dealing with a story scenario, especially those where one seemingly small decision can have effects that ripple through the rest of your playthrough. That's what this series, which began with 2007's Shadow of Chernobyl and was built on in Call of Pripyat in 2009, is best known for, and it's what struck me the most from my handful of hours with Stalker 2. I kept thinking about those decisions I had made and wondering if I had made a mistake by choosing a violent, guns blazing approach and wondering if I should have tried a stealthy or even fully peaceful. Oh, I'm not stealthy, I'm, I'm violent. Two takes it several <gasps> steps further. There are times you'll have NPCs abruptly yeah, he's singing his heart out. warning you because you've looted the body of their dead friend, for example. I'm sorry, Strider. Oh, no. Have that happen a couple of times, and it'll give you pause even when you're doing the kind of routine task that you normally wouldn't even think about. Suddenly, the voice of Monolith was gone. I felt as if I was awakening from a years-long coma. Our demo began with that Enter the Zone trailer cinematic before we were unleashed into a small field area covered by the darkness of night. Wait, is the demo out right now? Anomalies. These are dangerous areas that have been disturbed in the irradiated area and can reveal powerful artifacts with special attributes Yo. on them. And on the graphics front, for both PC and Xbox, these areas look stunning on both platforms. I like Skip the way this looks. This introductory oh, okay. sequence introduces us to Skiff. While we still don't know much about Skiff, Yo, look we at the did learn that he seems to be well-versed with... I'm sorry to pause it, bro. Look at the fire, bro. The fire looks absolutely unreal, bro. This, bro. The new technology. Oh my goodness, too, bro. Such as the Gilka 1 detector that you can this is and use to search for artifacts as it beeps louder and louder when approaching the correct area. Stalker 2 artifacts are basically small objects that give you benefits like a faster stamina recharge. While attempting to plant and charge a separate larger Topaz scanner at three such anomaly locations, I'll yada 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 over some spoilers here, 
because after a dramatic moment, we wind up in the open world section of Stalker 2, oh, where snap. our journey really begins, with a main quest that we quickly find sending us on a search for an individual named Squint. But okay. before tackling that Squint quest line, I was surprised by just how much could happen in the open world. One example was an encounter with some unsavory folks trying to attack a character bunkered down in their home. All of our footage was provided, so Ooh. I'll do my best to replicate that with what we were given. Anyway, once I took them out by Yo, the gun play them looks and making fire. Work of them with a sidearm shot to the noggin, I was introduced to, to the a noggin. NPC character. <laughs> And on the animation for a second, no matter who you meet in Stalker 2, Yo, you can the sprint. character models express emotion and the somber mood is on full display as you sit around campfires on a brief break. This particular new character, however, sent me on a quest to check on his friend and a chain of other small quests unlocked because I opted to help this one individual who I could have simply walked past had I been mainlining the story mission. Oh, snap. I found it interesting. Okay, so your decisions actually do matter in this game. I like that a lot. I, 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 I like that. I like, I like that. One small side quest could begin branching out into a larger and more involved story beat that I could have easily missed. Oh, my. Oh, my. Not only are there human enemies to worry about, which usually have your standard arsenal, but there are also larger, more unpredictable flesh wounds and bloodsuckers who are extra deadly and can make short work of you if you're not careful. Yo, who are these people? And there's fields of poppy flowers to navigate, the latter of which sounds quite nice, but will put you to sleep forever if you wander too far off the main pathways. Huh? You can't rest now, we're nearly there. Not only does this keep combat and the wastelands of the exclusion zone interesting, but it also offers moments of awe as you look out at the beautiful red sea of poppy flowers knowing you'll need to go in there and carefully navigate it to complete your objective. Oh, no, I ain't All doing that, that said, when I did finally find Squint, I was given two options. Confront him with violence and head back to base, or help him survive and be sent on a completely different story branch mm. with him. At first, I took the violent approach, but when I realized it felt a bit anticlimactic to end the journey with a gunfight, so I loaded up a save just before the encounter and went the other way. I couldn't help but remember the hundreds of hours I played Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, some of my favorite games ever, and experienced that same lingering doubt as to whether or not I made the right decision in a given situation. But why are you on the gun like that? that same Bug? In a two hour game session. It may not be special, and a lot of games have used this before, but I hadn't realized how much I missed this level of nuance. While games like Cyberpunk offered interesting beasts to explore, a lot of the stories wound up at the same place. I'm left hopeful that the branching paths can result in some wildly different results in Stalker 2's case. This brief session with Stalker 2, which seemed to start us at the very beginning of the game, reminded me just how great a branching style of storytelling can be from a gameplay perspective. Okay. Specifically when it's interwoven as it has been here with Stalker 2. I can't wait to see what else is in store for the full experience and I'm able Me to too, discover bro. just how far things can unravel. Beyond the branches of storytelling you can explore in the pretty graphics, I also found it really refreshing to be challenged with managing resources like ammunition and food to ensure survival. If you don't eat it up, you'll fatigue oh, easier, bro. and that means worse aim or less stamina, which you can use to navigate a conflict. Oh, so they took realism to a whole other level. That's crazy. I was about to say, I was so geeked out like two seconds ago because I like uh, how like whenever it's raining, I like how... Oh, uh, you can see like the water on the screen. That is fire, bro. If I say run right. away if you want to. Okay, but he just got violated. I'm gonna be honest. If you want out of bullets, your knife probably won't cut it in many situations, but you can try to instead use the environment to your oh, advantage. No. Oh yeah, run, by run, 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 run. Your opponents into an anomaly. Okay. Yo, what is that creature, bro? This kind of resource he built like a ball of salmon. nicely to the overall feeling this oppressive world is trying to convey, and it reminds me that every fight should be considered a calculated risk. Do I unload with my AK ammo that I'm very short on, or do I try and use a bit of stealth here? Can I get away with using a pistol, or do I need to get extra aggressive with these bigger enemies? Damn, you gotta be do smart, I tackle huh? this during the night when I can use darkness to my advantage, or would I rather use the sunlight to my advantage for clearer sight? The nah, fact that the I use the darkness. The game I have bitches. struck a balance with how much they give you, at least early on, with the scenarios you're put in, makes it feel like it's in a great spot right now. 
Hopefully this sticks for the rest of Stalker 2 and you don't become overpowered by the end of the campaign because this feeling of desperation is what it's all about. All right. I wonder what's out there. Yeah, me too. Spring, the Klondike of artifacts, a new home. I'm left with eagerness to get back into the world and see what other trouble Skiff gets into. Even though November 20th is right around the corner, Stalker 2 November 20th? can come soon enough. In the meantime, check out the Stalker 2 gameplay, and for more on all things gaming, keep it right here at IGN. Hey, man, shout out to IGN, man, for always being a plug for the gameplays and stuff like that, man. Listen, I hope Stalker 2 is good, man. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this. Um, I've been waiting for, like, it, it's almost about to be, it's almost about to be, like, a year and a half, you know, since I ch uh, last checked out this game. And uh, if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, and uh, yeah, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm impressed, bro. I'm impressed. The gunplay looks really good. That was like that was really like the only thing that I had a problem with. And the reason I do problem is because I don't really, bro. Like this isn't stopping me from going to sleep. You know, nothing, nothing gaming wise is stopping me from going to sleep. Um, I just voice my opinion. So whenever I did check out the gameplay like two months ago or whatever, or whenever I did check out um like the stalker gameplay or whatever, um and, and I didn't like the the gunplay or whatever, bro. It's way better right now. It's way better. Um, the game looks ready. The game looks finished. So, man, let's just hope that um, we'll just hope that everything turns out well. Um, and that's all I got, bro. I, I, bro, I've said so much about this game. Um, I've waited for this game for a very long time. And uh, next month it's gonna be here, man. So, other than that, man, comment down below. What do you guys think about Stalker 2? Do you guys like anything that you see? Do you guys don't like anything that you see? Again, keep it real. Keep it honest. You know, that's what we're here for. Other than that, man, see you guys on Rick's Mouse. I'm out. I'm going to bed. I'm tired.